Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic was sent in by a viewer. They wanted to know how you could choose the month that you're comparing. So we have here in this example, this is December 2017. This is the latest month of sales. And what we want to do is we wanted to create a parameter. And so I've done that previously. Just with the title, we want it to be date. We, the current date, the display format, I had that as month and year, and I put down a range here so that it'll have a start date, but you can pick any day in the future. So as time progresses, you can continue to pick that month. And then I want to just step at a month interval. Okay, so we're going to show that. Now what we want to do is we're going to create a calculated field and this is what's going to give us the this is what's going to give us the value for the selected month. So I'm going to say selected month sales. And what we're going to do here, this is going to be a fixed formula because we want independent of what is currently filtered, this is what we want um, the selected month to be. So we're going to use fixed and in this case, we don't have any filters that we need to have applied, so we're going to leave that blank. We're going to sum, and this is where we're going to use a if-then statement to, de to determine which fields are going to, which records are going to get pulled in. So we're going to say if um, the month of the order date is equal to the selected month, yeah, we may have to do month on that too. Let's do selected month. Oops. Then we're going to use get the sales. Otherwise, we're just going to end. Now I know this is going to come up with an error. And it looks down here. Oops, I should make that a little bit bigger. Smaller. You know, look at the error and it says can't compare integer and date values. So selected month is going to come across as a date. When we use month, that's going to change this into a integer. So the way we get around that is we're going to call this date truncate. And what that does is it leaves us at a it as a date format, and then but it registers it as just that particular month. Let's see here. Uh oh, it's, it's picky about capitals. And now we're OK. So we click OK. And now we're going to bring selected month sales. We're going to drop that under the value, measure values. And you can see here off to the right, it's December 2017 is selected month of order is 2017. So let's come here and let's pick a different month. Let's pick 2015 for December. And you have to select somewhere in that month. And so now you've got a new value that you can compare. Now, let's come over December 1st, 2015. And let's just bring over the selected month sales so you can see what's happening. Is all records are getting December 2015, 2015's value. That's across everybody. And we're just filtering so that it only looks at a particular month here. That's how you can compare. This is sales. The question was actually about salaries but you can do with anything. And now that you have this value, you can use it in other formulas to calculate the percent difference or uh, the delta. There you go. Enjoy. Thanks again for leaving comments and please subscribe.